So, hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome Where? back to Neopets. Neopets. Woo. So, what are, what are we? Woo. What did you skip, and what are we doing? Um, all I did is I got some more money. We've got like a boatload of money right now. We've got over sixteen thousand Neo points, which we don't need right now, but it will come in handy a lot later. Um, and we're just gonna finish up the chores because um, huh? there's just like a couple more chores. Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So Master Torax up here. We're supposed to go talk to him. He's gonna tell us how to use the moats. These are moats and they're warriors, best friend, blah, 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 Considering blah. Considering you've used like one. So like, you take the fire moat and we're supposed to just um, put it on our sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we can attack the dummy because fire can kill straw and all that, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But the cool thing about this, which I didn't realize before I did this tutorial when I played this game, was that if you hold it, it like uses extra magic and actually set things on fire and whatnot. So wow. Yeah. It's actually pretty neat. Mm. Yep, 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 yep. Mm. But we're gonna go do mm. our next chore. <laughs> mm. Devin. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just look up and see Jordan stare at me. Oops. <laughs> yeah, Jordan is giving him one of those warning glares. <laughs> um, yeah, so we have to go all the way upstairs just to get a guide to tell us that there's crows outside. That are that, named after crocodiles. Yeah, they're called like crocobex that. or something like that. I'm probably saying that wrong. Do not. But if me. you're right... Like, I feel like there's, like, one dude in the name department is like, well, here's the manager walks in and he's like, well, here's this Neopad. I need you to name it. And he walks away and then he comes back, like, two hours later. He's like, all right, what name you got for me? Crocobex. <laughs> See? No! You're fired. <laughs> well, obviously not. They took the name. <coughs> yeah, so Crocobex. There's Crocobex in the castle courtyard, which was where we just were. Just to tell you how pointless the whole loading screen thing is for this. Oh yeah, there's no fall damage in this game. Apparently, considering he was squashed like an accordion. <laughs> well, okay, there is fall damage. Only if you jump from really freaking high. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that fall damage is just death, so... Barbecue sauce. Whoa. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, but um, we're gonna just go kill a bunch of crows, basically, because I guess they're taking up space or something. Wow. I don't know. I guess they were bugging people. I probably should have read whatever the guy said, but yeah. this crow is super annoying because he won't attack you till you're up here, but he like hits you off as soon as you get up here. Uh, Unless I do that. And he freezes in midair too. Yeah, he's very glitchy. But not only do we have to kill them, we have to come over here and destroy their nests. Ah, oh. no! Also, that's rude. It's just a bit. <laughs> it's like, wow. And I don't even see that many around. What is there, like three? There's, there's four. <laughs> yeah, like really? Four or five, actually. I think there might be five. Um, because they're all over this courtyard. They're um, not just over here. They're on the other side, too. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, four more. So there's five. Huh. Oh, oh, oh. So this guy is over here. You can, like, bounce on these things. Yeah, this would suck if you didn't know where they were at. Yeah. Like, this would take so much longer. It took me forever to find them. Uh, which I later found out the map shows you like all the X marks of where they are. Oh um, yeah. Like, see. Oh. Okay. Not X marks, but you know those little things. Little medals. Yeah. So I found that out after searching for a good hour or so for the, these things. Wow. Yeah, it was not fun. This one over here is the hardest to find because you have to like climb up the side here. You see the. Oh, the vines. The vines. It's like all the way up there, and I didn't even know this was a thing you could climb up. Wow. Very Legend of Zelda-esque. <laughs> also, you had, said you had a story about a Neopet that you may have killed. I didn't kill it. Yet. Yet. 
Um, well, like, I made a new Neopet, hoping to be able to play Neopets again, but, like, I don't think they're running the website anymore, because right. I can't get on any of the games, no matter what computer I'm playing on, because oh. I thought maybe it was my my laptop, because I have a Mac, and it's not great with games, anyways, yeah. let alone old games. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, so I can't play any of the games, and that's how you make money in the world. Yeah. And so I'm going to run out of money to feed my poor little Neopet, which is a Jub Jub, if anybody jub knows jub. what that looks like. <laughs> but they're adorable. Jordan, bring up a picture of a Jub Jub. <laughs> um, they're adorable, and um, mine's probably going to die because I can't really make money to feed it. Jordan, so. bring up a picture of Abby's dead Jub Jub. <laughs> They have zombie versions of the Neopets, because if you don't feed them long enough, they turn into zombies. Wow. So, yeah. And I'm going to try that with Artorius. <laughs> Devin! I want Unfortunately, a Artorius will not move after you kill him. Well, I mean... Steph always says he's too hyperactive anyway. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Why did you move? You were perfectly I was, fine. Well, cause I was, like, I was facing the wrong way. Here we go, okay. Woo! Last Dana. time she tried that, she like glitched through his shell. Yeah, I did. <laughs> cause I like <clears throat> jumped when he jumped and it was not good. <laughs> Alright, here's the last one. And then we have to go back up and tell the guy that we killed him. They kind of look like flying penguins. Flying penguins. Alright, they remind me of Zazu. Zazu. Yeah, they've got his beak shape. Yeah. But yeah, so now we run all the way back. Oh, nothing like covering more terrain. <laughs> um, and then I think we have one more chore. And then we get back to actual plot stuff, I believe. This Maybe. is all still tutorial stuff, which is slightly annoying. This is but... a long ass tutorial. <laughs> like I gotta say, we've been at this game for at least 40 <laughs> minutes. Well like, the beginning was a tutorial and then this was a tutorial to show you how to fight. Oh, okay. So like, this wasn't until later. Um, but in between wasn't all tutorial. Um, so at <clears throat> least it wasn't like, just throwing everything at you at once. True. And after this, it does like slim to nothing to tell you what to do, so. Well, that's good. Alright, here we go. Um, and I don't remember what the last chore is. Because I always remember those three, but I don't remember what the last one was. So, this will be fun. Assassinating someone. <laughs> Assassinating. Someone. Assassinating Koro Sensei. Is that. <laughs> <laughs> is this secretly assassination class? Yep, <laughs> it might be. And. I have been, I just, like, within the last day and a half, I just been watched, been watched, like, I want to say about 30 episodes now, so that's, they're half an hour each, right, so it's like 15 hours Jeez, of anime. Mm -hmm. Um, I only just started watching it, I think I'm like, on 10 or... Yeah, uh, you said you were in the middle. Yeah, I'm in the middle mm -hmm. of the first season, so, so. oh gosh. Okay, oh. so we're supposed to reflect this back to him. There, we're done. <laughs> wow, okay. Not even a rule of threes. Wait, I don't remember what he said to do. Go uh, to the barracks. Oh, maybe there's not another chore. Yeah, maybe Boots. that was your chore. Chore. I just did air quotes. <laughs> um, but yeah, there. the next thing we have to do, I believe, is um, an actual, like... Mission? Mission. Not a bunch of stupid fetch quests. Um, I mean, it's kind of a fetch quest, yeah. but it's got, like, more to it. I feel you. <laughs> so, are we ever going to meet the second character? Yes. Um, soon, actually. I was about to say, anytime soon? Uh, I mean, like, after this mission, basically. Ah, okay. So we have to go see Master Torak, I think. I think, I think. Yes. Oh, yeah, speak to Sir Torak. Wait, where was he at? Yeah, oh, right okay. up here. Whee! He appeared out of the ground. <laughs> hey. hey! Hope you're well rested. Look at him, he looks like he's gonna give me a big hug. And, right. Uh, by orders of the king, you have been assigned a royal mission. A mission? Um, 
Why are you just zoom in on his face there for a second? I don't know. Dramatic effect. I guess. Oh yeah, we have to go kill mm -hmm. the Ixie Raiders. But first we have to get the actual knight to take us along with him because we're just a squ squire. Excuse me. We're just a squire. <laughs> <laughs> It didn't sound that bad. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're just a squire, so yeah, we have to go. You should, you should be this guy. You want to be this guy? He's, he's a freaking jerk. Oh, what are you trying to say? <laughs> I guess I'll be him. All right. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Sir Harlog. <laughs> Shake, <laughs> shake, shake, shake. What do you want, boy? Fetch me some more meat if you're going to stand there. I'm not here to serve you. The village of Cogham. Is that how you say that? Cogham? Cogham is under attack, sir. We've been given orders to give them aid. We? I just spit all over my life. <laughs> As in you and me? They send a squire to me? What, no other knight is fit to ride? Pah! I am insulted. They'll hear about this. The very idea. Dot, dot, dot. But sir, Kagam needs, needs us. Kagam! That little fly speck of a town is always under attack. I'll get to it when I'm done eating. No use trying out to the edge of the kingdom on an empty stomach. Now go away, boy. You're interfering with my supper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah. <coughs> so we basically um, ignore him mm. and go to Kagam to save the villagers because he's a freaking brat. <laughs> I guess. So he also looks exactly like Torak, so. Or not Torak, but, um. Uh, yeah, Torak. Yeah, Torak. Oh. There's this guy here again. Hello. He's awesome. Wolf beard. Wolf beard. <laughs> Is that uh -huh. what you're going to call him? Yep. Oh. Off to Cogham then. Uh, uh. Sir stuffs his face and stuff with his food. Hmm. Remember your manners, squire. I'm sorry, it's just people are suffering and he wants to do nothing. Hmm. What would you do if you heard your farm was being attacked? I'd go out and help them immediately. Hmm. Then what's stopping you here? Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Hmm. He just says, go do it. Go be an idiot. Kill yourself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did oh. I get you Sorry. in that one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Great timing. I should have done that on purpose. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, I'm better. Okay, so we're luckily I know where Kagam is, as long as I pick the right path. <laughs> Alright, All right, so are there any bosses in this game? Uh, yes. There are a lot of bosses. We're actually about to go to one. Oh, okay. So, woot. Because I remember that spider thing was a boss, but not really. Well, it was, what was it, a plant? Yeah, a plant. Okay. okay. It right. was a boss, but it was really easy. Yeah. Um, this next guy's a little harder, because he actually... I'm sorry, the what guy? What? The what guy? This next guy. Oh, I thought you said the sex guy. I was <laughs> like, whoa! There's Ray and E for everyone. <laughs> no. No, uh, this next guy. Okay. He's um, he's a little harder because he's actually our size and he can run around and stuff. Go away. Go away. Go away. You're in my way. Um, I think this is the right path, hopefully. Mm, no, it's not. No, it's not. There's a, like, there's a trying. really short, sh sh shortcut way of doing it. I just can never remember which path it is, because I'm, I'm forgetful. Kill him. No, but... <sighs> oh, Jesus. Just kidding. <laughs> These guys are called Draconax. It's a like pretty it. beast name for... Draconax. <laughs> Draconax. Sounds like Pokemon name. <laughs> yeah, Draconax. Draconax. <laughs> I mean, they're kind of like Pokemon, That's just true. not the same type of game. Uh, I mean, this this wasn't the original game, but yeah, but you know. So. Uh, but we'll get to Kagum and then see what happens from there. So yeah, 
Uh, again, if I can freaking remember what path it is, I might have passed it already. Oh, there's that guy again. In fact, I think it was the, uh, it was the can freaking you? first path I passed. Like, but it oh. said the like Meryl Plains. Can you yeah, bring up your map and say which way? Whoa! Don't pop up <laughs> like that. <laughs> um, yeah, it it is Mer It is the Meryl Plains one. It has like a little section, like not section, but like a side path you can take up here. Okay. I just always forget. There's like 50 paths of this place. <laughs> I know. Hey, it's pretty cool that it's got different sound yeah. effects for where you're walking. Like, even the dirt here makes a different sound effect than the grass. Yeah. Which is pretty good for a PlayStation 2 game. Um, I mean, I think a lot of them did it, but like... Like I said, this game is silly, but it's a good game. I mean... Yeah. They put a lot of effort into it. Yeah. You can tell they tried. Like, it has its <laughs> shortcomings, but what game doesn't? Crap, you were right. This isn't the right way. I I'm, I'm, I'm going this way anyways. Okay. I can get to there from here. I just, it's a bit longer. <laughs> There's a lot of crocobex out here, too. You oh. see them flying around, see. Oh, uh, okay. Will they attack you? Yeah, if I get close enough, then I'm just going to dodge mm -hmm. them. Yeah, there's a lot of the Great. moats just sitting around. Um, they're really good to grab while you're going around because it so doesn't they, take much. They recharge your, like, the moats aren't permanent, right? Like, right. they yeah. can run out and then you'll lose them. Yeah, you'll, they'll run out and you'll lose them. You can always go find them again. They usually pop up in the same places. Yeah. Um, but, like, if, if, you, if you use them effectively, and I don't, but if you use them effectively, um, they can do some serious damage because um, like if you put the right moat on your weapon it'll do like double damage to whatever you're attacking and stuff so see I got treasure chests already went through and grabbed some didn't they say you did the arena already too yeah okay there's like a small arena it's really not a big thing um, but it gets you a lot of cash that's why we have so much money right now <laughs> We got at least five thousand dollars from that thing, so or five thousand neo points. Neo points. Neo points. I wish I had five thousand dollars. <laughs> Same. I got five dollars. Maybe. Got a rock moat. He was not happy. Nope. Sorry, I'm gonna stop and grab these real fast. There we go. Um. Is your health bar bigger too? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember how I got it bigger, because it's not- you don't level up. Yeah. Uh, it might have been something I drank. Wow, big. No, it's- oh, okay, I remember. It's those- those negs. Uh-huh. The weird egg-shaped plants. <laughs> um, there's red ones, and every time you get a red one, uh, your health will go up, and every time you get a blue one, your magic will go up. Okay. Um, but they're, like, super rare and really hard to find, so... Crap, he's chasing me. Uh -huh, Isn't there a big one down there? Yeah, I know. I he's like, mama, mama. <laughs> I like their jumping in the air thing. It's like hilarious. See, these the golden grass is really great if you're wanting to farm money. You yeah. can just like stand around. Like farm money without doing much, anyways. You can just stand around. Those are spiders. With a Y. Yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> Good job there, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Thinking up names and shit. So this is um this is Cogum. It was a like before this mission, it's blocked off by a knight standing guard there. Mm. Obviously he did an amazing job. Right. <laughs> he ran off. Um and I don't think he went to help fight because there's no uh marital knights in here. So that's a thing. But yeah, we're gonna go rescue the villagers. Okay, is that a safe point? Yeah. I think that'd be a good place to stop for this episode. Awesome. We will save them in the next episode. They've suffered this much, we can suffer a little longer. <laughs> so, alright everyone, till we see you in the next video. Bye! Bye. Get up, get up, get up.